Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter World, where today we are going to be killing a behemoth. So let's go ahead and get this quest posted. I'm playing online with some friends here. Uh, specifically, I am in a pirate in Japan's room. So that's a thing. But yeah, we gotta, we gotta get this thing on down. And I'm going to use a voucher because I can. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now to when we're actually out on the quest. So back in a flash. And off we go. So we have got a behemoth to bring down. I have signed up to be the tank here because my survival set keeps me nice and durable. And also, I can tend to reach the face because switch axe. So let's just see how this goes. It's finally happening. See you round, buddy. And there's our big boy right now. One thing I don't have going for me with this item set, or armor set rather, I ain't got no plugs. It looks like we've actually got Skyblood here possibly also wanting to do the whole tanking thing, which makes sense. They've got a lance. They can block. I can just get out of the way of things and take very little damage. Those falling boulders sure did do some damage, by the way. <laughs> All right, Behemoth. I see you doing this. Hopefully someone's got a flash. Oh, no one flashed. I was hoping someone else would flash. Oh well. Let's get those flashes ready. And someone else has aggro, so I guess I'm on tail duty for a bit. That's fine. Not really specced for it right now, but can still make an effort. Got to try and reach that tail. Oh, we ran out of amped right when I stabbed. Would have been great if I managed to actually get on that thing. And already we've got a tail flinch. So yeah, I'm thinking that maybe... Well, I guess... I'll withhold judgment until we see the tail actually pop off, but I'm thinking that it is possible that that first quest, they just don't let you cut his tail. And already he's going somewhere else, which is actually very convenient for us. Because that is going to make it so that he can actually be ridden by people without blades. Hey, um, buddy, you want to maybe get out of there? Got him. Got him again. Oh, that's new. Thunderbolt, eh? Let me up, please. And we've got a comet incoming. And 
they've got enmity. But whatever, that's fine. I don't have to be the tank. Not being the tank lets me hit the tail, and I like doing that. That doesn't do as much damage as I'd like it to. Another comet. Got some pierce pods. Eh, not quite close enough to the ledge. So if you're not tanking him and you can't hit his tail, his forearms are the best things to hit. Not his shoulders, forearms. Specific. Got some meteors. Come on, come on. Got it. Yeah, flashing is nice because it keeps Charybdis from going off. And keeping Charybdis from going off is nice because then it doesn't go off. Okay. Gonna get my bombs ready. Because bombing his face when he's down is a pretty popular pastime. There goes the tail. Yeah, they definitely made the tail unseverable during the first quest. So that's comet number three. He uses four comets before he actually uh, summons the ecliptic meteor. So we've got a little time. I'm gonna get my flashes ready so that I can stop any Charybdis action. Ooh, a feel good shower. Ooh, ecliptic meteor time. Let's just get on behind this. And that's how you're meant to dodge it. Though, again, you can also dodge it by using jump. And now we're in phase two and we get this music. I love this music. Hey, we got a tail from the tail. Imagine that. All right, let's get back in there. Ooh, I got him. I have no idea what his animations will be, but as long as I can avoid getting knocked off here, then it's just fine. And here we go, all over this face. Ooh, and I get to do it again! And that right there is absolutely free amp state. If I'm not tanking after this, I'll be kind of surprised. I'm 
What do you know? I've got the enmity. So I gotta drive him away from this rock. Okay, that's that's a way enough, I guess. Alright, time to actually put on this mantle. And now I'm literally tanking him from on his face. And there's another comet. So it looks like we might end up with three ecliptic meteors this quest. There goes one comet. Seems like he's really picky with where his head ends and his uh, chest and neck begin. And there's another comet. So that's number three. And looks like we're done tanking. Ooh, we got a horn. And Temporal Mantle is gone, which is a shame. Let's get Rocksteady. We like Rocksteady. Rocksteady is nice. Wicked, it, it grabbed him? It must have been trying to grab us when we got knocked down that one time uh, in the last quest, but it, I guess, just didn't have the right angle. Okay, I guess I'm on his tail now. That's fine, tail takes damage. And that's Comet number four to drop, so Ecliptic Meteor should be soon. Ooh, but that KO. Here's the Ecliptic Meteor, and hey, we've got a rock right here. So I can jump. Oh, snap, I actually nailed him. Okay, he's moving to the last area, so he's probably pretty close to dead. Oh, man, my rock steady wore off. I wonder if he sleeps. Uh, not yet, at least. Ooh, good flash. I should get my own flashes ready. That attack's kind of annoying, but it doesn't really do much damage. I like how the walls in this place are pre-broken to account for the fact that Behemoth is really freaking huge. Now. 
Well then, I guess that's one way to get me out of a zero sum. Why did that bounce? There are just some attacks of his that... or attacks on him that seem to bounce for no real reason. More pierce pods? Sure is nice that you can stop Charybdis with a flash. It's like an interrupt mechanic in an MMO. I really wish his face would stay in one spot. Alright buddy, let's build up some enmity. Oh, I guess it wasn't me after all. Ow. I didn't need to be punched. Alright, Temporal Mantle. Ooh, good timing too. And we're on that face again. Which is fine, I like being on the face. It takes damage. Ooh, thorns. There's one on the face and one on the not face. And there's a comet. And we're on his face again. I do like being on his face. Feels good to hit it with zero sum. Well, if it wasn't for the Thunderbolt causing the Temporal Mantle to kick in, which brought us over the edge there, might have been able to do a jump attack. Whoa. That is surprisingly long range. Uh, we don't have flashes right now. There we go. Got some flashes. Let's get them equipped. Get some healing. Oh. We've just lost our healer. If I had noticed before taking my weapon out, I could have done something to stop that Charybdis. All right, here's Comet number two, I believe. You ought to try and get the Behemoth away from it. We kind of want those to be alive when he casts Ecliptic Meteor. time and also it was going for me and also we didn't have our flashes out. I need to sharpen. Get 
Definitely not a fan of him facing that way over here. Yeah, this is better. And we've still got that comet. Ow. I see some kind of pod. Bomb pods. We can use bomb pods. Oh, well, that one missed. Darn ceiling spikes. Darn ceiling spikes. I'm gonna not stand where they're gonna fall. That seems like a better strategy. Ow. Rar to you too, buddy. I'm apparently very good at getting hit by Thunderbolt. I just need a chance to heal, Behemoth. Thankfully, I am stun immune in my current armor, so... Like, unless he just keeps me unable to do things for a long, long time, I'm still going to be just fine. Well, the flash was a little late. It went off. Unpleasant, but what you gonna do? Oh, Ecliptic Meteor. Ah! And he died. Didn't quite get behind it, didn't quite use jump in time, but whatever. I just gotta get back there and get carving. Also, apparently Ecliptic Meteor does damage to Behemoth when it lands, which is why it was repelled after an Ecliptic Meteor and why it died after an Ecliptic Meteor here. So, yeah. Damages itself. Thankfully, it's not such a long way to go to get back here. And we should still have time for our carves. Actually, we won't have time to get all our carves because there's six, if memory serves. Yeah, we just got four. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Well, hey, we got some things. Tenderizer Jewel is nice. And wow, just up to full research right there, huh? Interesting. And I did nothing. All right, let's just go ahead and check this out right here. You did it. No problem. Excellent work. <laughs> Speaking of which, Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Have fun back there. So he took the etherite with him, huh? Yep. 
And what do you have to say now? Did he? Hey. Oh, neat. All right. Well, hang on. I got to find my poogie now. Where are you, little poogster? There you are. And now we have a bacon behemoth. Alrighty. And that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time, which will be uh, when Arc Tempered Teo comes out, which is going to be on the 10th. So thereabouts is the next episode. So see you then, friends. <laughs>